what is going on traders welcome back to the traveling trader good to see you guys again in this video i'm going to be discussing a stock that we just bought i issued an alert last week in our private trading group now this stock is in the genomics slash biopharmaceutical industry so i'm going to be going over its price chart and its fundamentals and why i think there is a low risk high reward opportunity here and you will want to stick around till the end because i'm going to show you how to trade this and I'm also gonna give you a bonus stock that could blow up insanely based on its recent price action. So if you get anything out of this video, leave it a big fat thumbs up just like this. Leave it in the comment section below. Let me know if you're in any one of these two stocks. And if you wanna join our wonderful private trading group, over 2,400 traders, link is in the description below. Let us get started. So. The stock that I'm talking about, the ticker symbol is SRPT, stands for Sarepta Therapeutics. Now, there are a few reasons why we bought this, which I'll discuss in a second, but I'm happy that we were also validated by Aunt Kathy's purchase of over a million shares. That's right. ARC-G, which is the genomics ETF for ARC, and I did a video on them. I will link it here. Genomics is one of four infant industries that I think will have an insane 2021 and beyond. The others obviously being cannabis, online gambling, and EV slash clean energy plays. But Kathy Wood bought a combined million shares of SRPT going all the way back to January 8th. So looking at the chart, here's why I bought this. And I did a, a video on technical analysis that, that, that I released yesterday at the time of this recording so if you're new to technical analysis and you want a quick intro check out that video as well but looking at the chart Sarepta crashed right so on January what was this January 8th Sarepta crashed 51 percent so it lost half of its value overnight now usually when you see things like this these are over reactions unless something drastic went on with the company like if if they were going bankrupt or I don't know, the CEO was charged with some sort of high crime. But in general, these are, are overreactions. And I'll tell you why it crashed in a second. However, just looking at the technicals without knowing any of the, the fundamental or news details, this is a almost two-year support level. We crashed here in September 2019. We crashed here in March 2020, where when this was the, the pandemic crash. And we crashed to the same level here. Now, these are low-risk entries because you can, as a matter of fact, enter a position here it already crashed 50 percent, so the chances of it crashing drastically further are low and if it starts dipping below your support level well you can set a stop limit right here and exit your position relatively unharmed we are also oversold on the rsi and we are oversold on the stochastic rsi and we see a lot of buy buying volume here the day after it crashed if you look down here i don't know how easy it is to see on on your chart or on your screen but there is this tall green volume bar here as well as some healthy volume bars thereafter signifying that there is interest in picking this up and like i said kathy wood bought a million shares of this for arc g from january 8th until current so let's talk about why this crashed and then i will get into how to trade it especially if you're looking for options trades we'll get into that as well so the the stock basically dropped 50 percent after a gene therapy setback now it's important to note obviously gene therapy is a baby industry compared to the rest of the medical sciences so there there are going to be these fluctuations due to certain studies not really yielding positive results and that's exactly what happened here one of its gene therapies aimed at curbing the effect of a certain type of muscular dystrophy didn't really yield the greatest results it, it failed to improve the average muscle strength of the treated children in a statistically clear way according to this Barron's article now there are tons of these types of trials going on without stocks crashing all over the place however this particular gene therapy the company had entertained hopes that u.s regulators might allow the treatment on the market based on the results so it was banking that this specific study here was going to be the onboarding platform to get FDA approval. However, this is why I, as well as other analysts, think that this is an overreaction. These are just interim studies, right? So the therapy itself is continuously t being tested. It's not like they scrapped the entire program. This is still ongoing. And one RBC analyst maintained his outperform rating for the stock, believing that its existing treatments for muscular dystrophy, the revenues from that will continue to grow. And if we take a look at Sarepta's revenue, growth since 2017 you'll see that it is a very positively biased chart revenues continuing to grow consistently for the last three to four years 
Moreover, they just announced last week that they, they are entering a new gene editing research collaboration with a company called Genevent Sciences, which is a, a private company. It's not a public company. So besides the technicals and the fact that Kathy Wood bought over a million shares just very recently, let's take a look at the options data and see what we can find. If we take a look at the options data, you could see that most of the contracts open recently are bullish. This shows a very bullish sign with the total number of contracts increasing. So since that crash, traders and investors are betting in the same way that, that we did, as well as the same way that Kathy Wood is, is betting, right? She She's known to buy the dip. She's a great trader slash investor because she invests in companies that she believes in for her fund, but she also tries to get the best price. If you could see, if you look at, at the chart, this is when they started loading up. Here, the, the, uh, the, the orange is, is basically the price of SRPT, and you see when it tanks, this is when Kathy Wood swoops in and starts increasing the shares of the fund for SRPT. And if we take a look at the options data, you'll see that since January 8th, which was the day of the crash, we already see a an exponential increase in contracts and the number of call contracts, which are bullish contracts, right? So usually Sarepta trades in the hundreds every single day in terms of volumes of option of call options. But since January 8th, we went from hundreds to 12,500, 13,000, 5,000, 2,000, 3,000, 3,000. So we're now dealing in the thousands and the total notional value of these contracts is now in the millions, where as before, we were only used to trading in the hundreds of thousands. And the ratio between bullish contracts and bear contracts is very skewed towards the bullish side, right? So 80% on January 15th bullish versus 20% bearish. So this is telling me that the market is pricing in a bullish move from here because the the, uh, the, the price is, is at support. Now, we could be very wrong, right? These things are not guarantees. However, as I stated in my technical analysis video, we are not trying to tell the future. You are just trying to get in an optimal entry. So after the stock crash 50%, if investors and traders are buying up this stock heavy here, then they are pricing in a likely upward move. There isn't much further down that it is likely to drop. Of course it can, but we are dealing in what is likely and what is considered a potential outlier. So I'm very comfortable buying at this level, setting a stop limit below here. In terms of price targets, I think SRPT will be up to $100 and beyond in no time, but size accordingly, it's still a risky stock in a baby industry. All right, so in terms of how to trade this from an options perspective, obviously from a stock perspective, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's trading at around 90 bucks right now. We got in in the 80s. You can certainly put a position in and then set a stop limit according to your risk profile, but I wouldn't go much below this support level here, which is around around you know, the, the $80 range. You could maybe afford to drop it a few dollars to give yourself some cushion, like set a stop limit at around 75. And if SRPT tanks, then you will exit relatively unharmed. But from an options perspective, there are a few very interesting plays that, that we can leverage here. One of the things we could do is you can just simply buy a long-term call, right? So you can go out to maybe January, 2022, and you can target a delta of around 0.5 or 0.6. I think the $100 strike price will do just fine. This will cost you 2430 for every single call option. Obviously, trade according to your budget. These are just some suggestions that, that I would do. Take what you will from this. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just giving you some ideas of what I would do here. Now, for those of you that, that know about leaps and know about how I teach trading leaps, you might say to yourself, well, 0.6 delta, don't you always say that we should go for a 0.8 delta and above? Yes, in most situations, but this right here is a hyperbolic crash. This is exaggerated. So because it lost 50% of its value, I think you could get away with going with a lower delta here for a cheaper price because there is an expectation that the, that the price will recover faster than say, you know, buying Apple or Microsoft, which are slow moving stocks. And leaps on those would generally justify a 0.8 delta. And I think that January 2022 gives you a lot of time, but you could certainly, if you wanted to risk it, you can actually shorten your expiration date. You can go out to something like June, which is, you know, in the next five to six months, and you could pay a lot less for that call option if you think that the stock will move faster. I think you could afford to go shorter time frame if you really wanted to. It's just that the longer 
longer time frame calls give you more time to be right and the time decay is a lot less even though it will cost you more now another thing you could do is go out to say march like 60 days out and you can actually buy a call spread a call vertical spread so this will cost you a lot less than say buying a call option at 2000 bucks so if you bought for instance the 90 dollar call and you sold the 95 dollar call this gives you a vertical spread option you are paying 2.25 for this vertical call spread this debit vertical call spread so 225 per contract and all you would need to happen is for srpt to finish above 95 dollars on march 19th which is 61 days from today now the stock is currently trading at 90 so if you think that a 95 dollar move is pretty modest which i do i think that that it can get above 95 by march fairly easily then 225 dollars per contract is really not that big of an investment now you are your gains are capped here because it is a vertical call spread so it's not unlimited gains in the same way that that a call is but you are exchanging limited gains for a much lower capital commitment like i said these will only cost you 225 per contract versus over two thousand dollars per contract if you bought a long-term call so what are your gains limited to well the max value that a spread can be any vertical spread is the difference in strike prices and so since this is the 90 95 call spread and we paid 225 for it then our max profit is 275 right because it's five dollars minus 225 you get 275 so that is the max that we can make per contract and the max that we can lose per contract is whatever we paid for the call spread in this case 225 i really love this play because it's a like i said a, a pretty low capital commitment for still a healthy reward you are getting more than a hundred percent for this play if srpt finishes above 95 by march and in this case it was i think march 19th yeah march 19th so those are the two main ways that i would play this move on srpt obviously you could just buy the stock once again but i do like to give you guys option ideas okay and now for the bonus the second stock that i think could blow is glsi now greenwich life sciences is primarily a cancer drug company that was basically a penny stock at the end of last year and it went absolutely crazy and had a thousand percent day in December it shot all the way up to almost a hundred and sixty dollars starting from a low of about three bucks now the reason that I think it could blow is not due to any sort of catalyst but look at how tight this range is here from all the way from the end of December until today so almost a month it's been trading in this extremely tight range which usually makes traders either very nervous or very excited so I'm I currently don't have a position in this right now but I'm looking to open a position come Tuesday depending on what happens and it's just been holding this 21 EMA line like a champ which is the white line on my chart the the exponential moving average however I do see some rumblings here with the stochastic RSI potentially curling upward just a little bit so this one I think is a little riskier because you could see a gap down so for instance if you bought it today it could gap down on any given day I would not go heavy here at all but I still want to put in a managed risk position because we could also see a, a complete explosion to the upside it's currently trading at 37 like I said it hit almost 160 in December and it went down just because people were taking profit it's not like the, the company suffered any bad news since December uh, December t uh, December 9th so I do like a managed risk here but again please be careful because this thing could gap down heavily anyway traders I hope you got something out of this if you did leave it a big fat thumbs up just like this leave it in the comment section below let me know which one of these two you are trading and again please be careful with your position sizing I can't say it enough this is not a casino I don't mind taking risks as long as they are managed risks if you want early bird access to my options trading course it is the link in the pinned comment below subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell stay safe out there traders peace